Yeah. Ma, there is no food in the kitchen. Yes, dear, now, Shelly, in the peas. What were you doing all day? All the fillers only cook, I just have to cook when the day comes. Yesterday there was no food on time. The day before, too? Look, I'm getting old. If only find a dog cook on time, get a maid. You are fighting me, ma. You see, I'm fighting. I shall in my peas. You are fighting me because I didn't build the temple of Vishnu. I have nothing to do with that. That is all your business. I may call you and if all you want to behave like dog instead of like brothers, what do I go do? Eh? What do I go do? You're on his side, aren't you? Boy, build the temple for him now. You have everything. Intelligence, health, stability, your father's wealth. Look at Vishnu. Look at where you live in now. In that old house with your uncle now in Pinal. If I build that temple for Vishnu, it will be unfair to sit on the child. Sit on the child. That is all you concerned about. Sit on the child. Yes. If I build that temple for Vishnu, he will have his teachings and his followers, and his son will be without a father. But what if God wants him to have the temple, eh? God could be angry with you for standing in the way. Then let him remove me. But I must say that I don't know this God you speak so easily of. You don't know God? You don't believe in him? I believe in myself. When my mind tells me to do something, I do it. When I feel something is wrong, I don't do it. Your father destroy you. How is that? He should have never put you in charge of the business. He should have never given you the power you have now. I am sure you would have preferred Vishnu to be in charge. You become an ugly Cornelius. The power going to your head. If I have power now, I deserve it. All a... my life I've had nothing. That is a lie. It is not. Did you all send me abroad when I wanted to go and study? No, Cornelius. Let Vishnu go. Who would help your father in the business? So I stayed in the business. And I made it ten times better than you and Pa did. I gave up university, friends, having a good time. In ten years, I have not had a holiday. I gave up myself, everybody. So don't begrudge me the power that I have now. But if you misuse the power you have now, everything you do in the past will amount to nothing. I am sure for you, it will amount to nothing. You never value me or what I do. Boy, how you could say that? You never loved me, Ma. Always it was Vishnu, Vishnu for you. You're going crazy. Maybe, with the kind of life I have had, I wouldn't be surprised if I am indeed going mad. It's all your fault. Sure, sure, whatever it is. If an earthquake come now to shit down this house, you would say it's my fault. It's good if you hear how this boy talking. Oh, I don't love him. Oh, as parents, we give him nothing after you put all that power and property in his hand. And he insisting that he's not going to build a temple for Vishnu no matter how much I beg him. I worked so hard for all you all my life and I have no say in this family anymore. It is not good, Cornelius, to make your mother cry like this. Don't cry, Kausalia. I will build a temple for Vishnu. True, Chiki? Yes, I tell you. I went to see him today. I took him to the two lots of land we have at the side of the house and tell him that I will build a temple on that spot. Pa, you didn't tell me. I'm telling you now, Corn. You should have told me before. Before? Now? What's the difference? I should have been consulted on this. You can't do things like this without my approval. Your approval? Yes. I need to get your approval to do what I want with my property. It's not just your property anymore, Pa. In any case, I swung the deal to get those two lots of land. You swung the deal, but with my money. Your money? Your money? That's a joke. Nobody's laughing. You sit here without a care when the day come. You play your races. Go on a holiday, take your midday nap, and take an occasional stroll through the business. I... And you talk about your money. I worked for 30 years to build that business, and if I take it easy now, it's because I deserve it. And I deserve much more respect than you showed me today. But what has happened to you, boy? You were never like this before? If Papa was going to head Shirkut, you should have never put him in charge of the business. I am in charge of my affair. No, Pa. I am. To hell with that. I will do what the hell I want. You can't do what the hell you want. You can't build that temple unless I say so. I'll build it. I'll build it. You need my permission, my consent, and my signature. Cornelius, you are getting me very angry. And I am surprised you have changed your mind about Vishnu and the temple. Because I still have feelings. I can't bear to see my son wasting away with your uncle and Pinal. He was so happy when I spoke to him today. I'm sure he was. He got his way again. Is that what troubles you? That Vishnu has got his way again? Your fight to save your brother. All is concerned about Sita and the child. It's just a pretense. It is not. It is. You want to block your brother, to beat him. Ah, oh, Cornelius, have I ill-treated you so that now you turn out like this? I have had no self-power. 
I don't know who I am. I am caught in other people's lives without a path of my own. Vishnu is lucky. Your God has blessed him, Ma. He has his own cause, his own life. I continue to be a substitute, a shadow. What am I? Where is my command? I am as flat as a slice of bread with no say in my own life. And maybe you are right. That, that, Vishnu, that I do want to punish Vishnu for demanding so much attention and leaving me in the shade. If he has that temple, everyone would go there to worship him. And I will be caught in a tide where I just flow as directed by others. I want no more of that. This is my life. We fail as parents. It's your fault. My fault? Cornelius take after you, man, not me. I'm glad he take after me. He have a point too. So you're not going to build the temple again? I want to, but I don't know. But you promised Vishnu today. But if it would displease Cornelius so, I must consider his feelings too. That is not it. It's because you need Cornelius' permission to build. I don't need anybody's permission to do anything. I am Chidkut Ramprasad Maharaj. Foolish old man. You are silly mess you make of your life. Now your son have power and authority over you. Where you going? Out. Out where? Do I have to tell you everywhere I go? I am still your father. But I am not a little child. So you want to beat me now, eh? Look, I'm going out. I'm not finished talking to you. Talk then. I am going to build that temple. I'm going to build it in spite of you. Because as far as I'm concerned, you have worked hard, but you have been well rewarded by me. And if you can't overcome this petty jealousy you have of your brother, that is your affair, you will have to live with it. But I am going to build that temple. If you build that temple, I'll break it down. But if you break it down, I will break your ass. <laughs> You're getting worse and worse. You think you're going crazy? Look, you don't start talking damn stupidness now, you hear? Will you hear you say go break down the temple? You have to be crazy to want to do something like that. You talk as though he's a stranger. He's a son, woman. It's true I was never close to Cornelius. You never give him enough love. He didn't seem to need it. He always used to like to be by himself. Whenever I tried to pet or pump him, he used to fret and be embarrassed. Vishnu on the other hand used to come to me. Yes. Vishnu was always mommy nice child. You don't start talking like that now, you hear? Oh God, why my sons and them couldn't be normal people? Why do they have to have all these complex desires and personalities? I never give my parents so much problems. That is not true, Chirwood. Your father didn't want you to marry me, remember? But you stood up to him. You went against his wishes. Don't remind me. I should have listened to them. Then I would have had a different wife and different children. Why so? Yes, it's so. You want me to leave this house right this minute? Yeah, if you feel the house biting you, go! That is why you will never see a way, Chirkut. You have no gratitude! If it wasn't for me, you would have still be cracking coconut on the estate, you hear me? You would have been a damn drunkard too! Look at you now, telling me I could leave this house when it's I who teach you how to save money. When it's I who ban my belly all them years to make ends meet on that pocket change salary you used to get on the estate. But you forget all that. He's a big man now, making salary check for hunting. So you forget what I do for you. No cow, I forget. Don't be full wretch. I thankful, cow Celia. I tell you, I thankful. Not you want me to tell you that every day? Not once you ever tell me that. Well, I'm telling you now, okay? Hmm. So bring me food. I ain't cook yet. What? So late and you ain't cook yet, woman? That is all I good for, eh? To cook, cook, cook? Come, so hungry, I'll be when all you come home. Sometimes I just get so frustrated, I just wish a ball down the place, yes? But it's afraid I just and never think I gone crazy. So don't think you're crazy already. Come. What? Don't cook today. Take a rest. I will eat biscuit and cheese. You go eat biscuit and cheese to put you. Yes, come. I telling you. Well, I never thought of a silly day. Well, go and cook then. I will try to make things easy for you and you still grumbling. It's the first time in I don't know how much years you're showing any kind of feelings for me. In the hustle and bustle of life, and as time passing, you just forget other people. You just forget how to love. I can't believe it's you who talking. I can't believe it too. But that boy Vishnu, he affected me. True, Chirki. I'm so glad. Yes, I'm telling you. I mean, everything that I live for, everything that I believe in, he considers as nothing. So I tell myself, Chirkut Rampasad Maharaj, check yourself. So 
I check myself and I see that I have everything and more. So it's time I start loving and giving. I give this to the temple and I give you a day off from the kitchen. Today, I walk in a shop and buy three bags of sweetie for some school children. And as I was walking out, a lady asked me for some money and I did she. And she said she want to see me again to give me something in return. So you see, Kausi? Which lady is that? Forget the lady now. The important thing is that I want to become a good man now, Kausilia. Which lady you give money to? Good and who want to see you again? Some lady down the road, dressed up nice and stylish looking. Mona will wring your ass for you. Eh? I thought you got a change in. You're taking this loving and giving business too far. Leave out nice, stylish, good looking ladies, you hear me? Eh?